hi guys um welcome back to my channel and uh, well i have to go to work today i'm supposed to be at work by 8 p.m and right now it is 602 which is six o'clock i have to leave home by 7 30 so let's see if i can get ready in time Alright, so I'm going to begin with uh, face wipes and I bought this product at TJ Maxx, I have to use it now, I'm looking in my mirror, it smells oh, chemically, it's supposed to smell like, smell like natural chamomile extract, basically it's for normal and combination skin out. like socks oh my god I'm using a mirror to pour foundation on it I'm gonna use the facial wipes I used earlier, wipe it with my towel here, so I have Fenty, this one's, this one's a little So, I mix two Fenty foundation in here, but I have two other foundation that's about to, it's almost empty, you can see. So then, it's hard to put on this uh, mirror thing, so I'm just going to apply it. Full foundation, don't worry. Leave the worrying to me. So, I've received this. It's an oil. I received this primer oil thing that they do suggest uh, you can also add in foundation for extra hydration. So I'm going to add it in here. It's like an oil. Yeah, it's lighting down there. Alright. I'm going to mix them up. Okay. Ah. It's a little darker. It's okay, I guess. 
so basically um, I had a four foundation I was almost running out of those three foundation and I thought um, one wouldn't be enough to cover all of my face so I decided to mix it and as you can see one of the Fenty is not my shade so I just tried to mix match the tart one is also not my shade so that is why I did what I did with those foundation and when I said I know what I'm doing I meant it <laughs> I'm only working for definitely three hours, but I could work there for four hours tonight. I'm not sure. So for three hours, I'm applying makeup. You know, when you have makeup, you find any excuse to apply makeup, you go for it. The scary part is that I have to, yeah, it's not my face, not my face. My face is not the scary part. Um, the scary part is for work, I have to wear white t-shirt, white shirt, sweater, whatever, but it has to be white. And if by any chance I succeed in not smudging my makeup while putting on the shirt, if I succeed on that, at work when I'm like moving stuff and you know and then someone calls me and I'm like what and then I just wipe half of my chin makeup on my sweater or my shirt and the annoying part is you can't run back to fix it it's gonna make it even worse so when I come home I have like a battle of makeup everywhere you get it okay So I have two concealer, one is medium, the other one is light medium honey. Also I'll go with light medium honey. So my spoolie uh, needed to be clean since my September Las Vegas trip. It's been in a cleaning pot. I haven't been able to clean and I uh, trust me I'm not that busy but you know I'm too busy to do anything. So this weirdest and biggest uh, spoolie-ish thing that my husband got me four or five years ago. Yes I'm using that one because I'm too lazy. This one I bought that comes with fully, but it, it broke. So usually I had, yeah, usually I had two, but one got broken. So today. I went to Amish market twice because um, today by the time I might upload this video 2020 January 
who knows if I'm lucky if you guys are lucky you get to watch this video on 2020 January if not then you might get to watch it early or way late we don't know but what was what was I going to say I was going to say first of all I hate doing my brows I hope by this video you have guessed it and you know it that I hate doing my brows. Today it is November 27. Yes, Thanksgiving is tomorrow. Apparently um, there is a potluck at my work tomorrow. They keep telling us to sign up for potluck and I keep forgetting it. But I remember, not to sign up yet, but I remember that I need to buy stuff. I have no energy to cook. Recently I made a uh, chicken choila for my husband's work potluck and I'm done cooking, honestly. It's too much stress. Even a good food that I can cook, I fuck, um, I mess it up. So I don't, I don't wanna. So although, yes, I'm not gonna cook. I don't feel like I should be cooking, it's very stressful. So I'm not gonna cook. And, uh, and yes, this is a Maybelline uh, Tattoo Brow Gel brush that comes with it. But I feel like there's so much product in here. And I, although I suck at doing brows, uh, should I give it a try? I've been taking it off from here. Right. Oh, uh, that's a lot, that's a lot, that's a lot. That part of my eyebrow is wet, Hana. I'm a <laughs> See, it's too thick. <laughs> okay. I'm not touching this anymore. Just. Oh my god, can we be done? Oh, it looks like shit. Can I go back to times where I do makeup without doing my eyebrows? Why did I ever pay attention to my eyebrows? Now all I get is stress. Powder espresso. It's a it's a it's a it's a natural stain brow powder es espresso by a brand name Peak. And you just slide it. It's two shades, so I've been using these shades for my brows. Did I say brow? No, for my eyelid. Um, the lighter one is still very brownish. Mm, smells like. <sighs> smells like fresh, clean, um, new book or uh, notebook. When you flip those pages and smell it. If you are a weirdos like me, oh, it reminds me something that I used to smell, and it takes me back to my old days where I struggled to afford literally everything. So whatever I get, I just appreciate it to a point. I guess I start sniffing things, huh? So, oh my god, where did I go from our story? Uh, I was telling you I went to I went to Amish market. Um, so I decided, hey, you know what? I did saw what people were going to bring, some said lasagna or something. And I'm like, I'm going to bring a pie. 
you know, if whatever they bring, I didn't like it, at least, you know. I don't eat pie regularly, but I think on Thanksgiving, I definitely buy pie that one time. So, here's this another eyeshadow I got. It's from Hanalei Matte Bronzer. Don't know the name, but it looks like that shade inside, so I'm going to use that for transition as well. So this palette I showed you guys, if you have seen my Ipsy Glam Bag review, I've uh, been using it lately and uh, I've been using it for bronzer. No, I failed at using it as a bronzer because this shade that looks like a bronzing shade for me turned out to be pinkish shade. So I looked horrible. Definitely that video will go up before this so you will know what I'm talking about. So I've been using this as a blush and... A little transition, little peachy eyeshadow color as well. Anyway, so I bought French apple pie and uh, coconut custard pie. They <coughs> at the farmers market, Amish market. They had option uh, either you can buy a full size pie or you can buy half. So I bought half of each I do not like apple pie if I want a chunk of fruit I would rather eat a chunk of fruit I don't want it soggy messy chunk of fruit no thank you so I do not like my uh, apple pie my husband loves apple pie my sister loves pecan pie and one day I tried it and man that pecan pie I love pecan pie now Pumpkin pie, I can I can take two bites and then the mushiness of the pumpkin just throws me off. But anywho, I went to Amish market with my husband second time and we went there just to get a full size of pecan pie. So at my work people are gonna get a variety of pies. So I bought that pie. And tonight I'm going to work as I told you guys so I'm going to sign up for the potluck and I have to write down what I'm bringing so I'm going to write pie galore back to the blush I'm going to use Oscalia Dolphin Alcida and one, two, three. So I basically go walk, 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 walk. Okay, done with the blush because Jesus, it's a work and not a date. I don't want to overdo it. Take it. And just, it still works. So basically, this is a micro smooth. Like, after you're done with your makeup, just run through with this powder. Do I see a difference? Not really. But I'm not pro either. I have mentioned this multiple times, but unless something amazing change i'm not purchasing this again the second bottle is about to end and this is my third bottle by my first bottle i regretted buying it but since i already purchased it and i'm not that rich i gotta use it and the reason i hate i love the smell it takes me back to my country it it the smell triggers the memory but what about it that triggers i cannot pinpoint but this feels like this spits on your face. There's like spits of water. On good days, it's spray goods. On bad days, it's horrible people. It's, like, it's not misty like the Morphe. Morphe spray. Okay, this is about the end. I can't push it anymore. 
see, out of three spray, two was horrible, one was good. So, the reason I keep spraying, although my face looks pretty wet, is because there are some part of my skin, it feels still, it still feels dry, and, um, you know, the mist is not spraying evenly, it's like squirting, like a water gun. That's why I was uh, constantly spraying my face, and yes, enjoy my agony. <laughs> Like it cut my face. <sighs> Why my eye though? Oh, thank God I didn't apply mascara. Oh, there goes my makeup. This side is completely dry. That is why I'm not purchasing this mist anymore. Morphe one. Oh my god. Can you guys see? Oh my god, it dripped. <gasps> no, you can't do that. What the hell? Oh my god. Story of my life. I think I need some blush again. Watch. I'm gonna use this powder again. About my eyeshadow, we're not gonna talk about it. Half of them is probably gone. Using the highlighter, both of them. For my eye, I'm gonna use obviously Thrive Cosmetic Mascara. So for the lip, uh, I think this is like Ipsy Collab from the Bomb. Uh, uh, it's called Salute. But, so this is my natural lip color, right? Look at this. It is so natural. Can you guys see it? Of course you can. I'm so zoomed in and so close. But oh my god, this lip product. I might have to purchase some more. Yeah, I like to overdraw, so. But this is my end look, you guys. You guys. <laughs> This is my final look, and yes, this is how I'm going to work. And I'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching, guys.